You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you. It's Squail, um, Kwanasi Limnala, and the Pat Satasia, Tracy White Tanis Quinn Tamot Nasquish, Tanit San At Snanemoch, E Kwamloch At Upachasit. Um, good day, my name is Satasia, and my English name is Tracy White. Um, I said it's good to see you all, and I'm from Snanemoch, and I also have roots in Upachasit, um, which is in Port Alberni um, on the west coast of the island. Uh, my, my role um, today at Ocean Day, I wore two hats. Um, I was the language, I'm the language coordinator for the Sinanimo First Nation. And so I helped with the naming of the Ocean Day for Kwa, and which is our word for ocean in, in um, Hulkaminam. And also I uh, work for the Gabriela Arts Council. I'm the Samari consultant. And our main project that we've been working with lately is called Breaking Bannock. Breaking Bannock is um, a series and a program um, established to uh, build bridges with community. And Ocean Day has been a great example of bringing people together. Um, we, just, we thought it would be great to, to work alongside Snanemov and the Department of Fisheries and Giska, all the other groups um, to come on board and um, and bring our our famous bannock, <laughs> uh, the fry bread that is made by Lorna Johnny from the Sinanema First Nation, and um, to to be together and to be a part of this awesome collaboration. Sinanema she C M E Mastimo Tlashatam Mahu Hahatamo. Sinanema Chief Mike Wise and Council invite you all to our sacred lands. We're going to sing the uh, our Sinanema traditional uh, welcome song. There's a, a long story about this uh, song. However, time-wise, uh, our ancestors uh, used to sing this song when they went uh, entering a, a territory. This is how they recognize one another who's coming to visit and uh, and this is how our ancestors um, um, uh, welcomed one another with their own uh, traditional song. We have a group here of, of uh, volunteers who uh, help organize this event and I just wanted everyone to introduce themselves. Uh, good afternoon everyone, my name is, traditional name Satya, my given name is John White. Uh, thank you Juan for opening us up. I'd just like to say a couple words, I want to put my hands up to our Snenimok Mustimok for joining us today, our elders, I want to raise my hands you guys for making the journey over to uh, witness this event and take part in this event and I'd like to thank all the wonderful people that are here today on behalf of our Snenemo Marine Division and our core planning group for Oceans Day. Good afternoon everybody my name is Kamchasia from my I grew up in Souk where my father is from my mother was Andrea Wesley from here in Snenemo um, I'm part of the Gabriola Arts Council, and I'm thrilled to be part of this dynamic team that worked tirelessly to put this together. Hi, Tsepka, to all of you, the planning committee, um, my friendship over the years with Snanamuk and, and doing ocean education and ocean events on both sides of the water. It's just so special to be here on this part of your territory, a place I've called home in your traditional territory for the last 20 
four years. I think I'm almost a, a local on Gabriola. Um, I am a Gabriola shore keeper. I am an ocean lover. I might be part mermaid. And I am just so grateful to Snanema for all the teaching that you have given me over the years to learn about the ocean and ocean stewardship. You are our leaders. Giska, um, Gabriela Island Shore Keepers Association. Uh, we have a wonderful job of trying to, to care for the shores, look after them. I think I'm part mermaid too. We all just love working out the beaches, um, cleaning them at different intervals in the year. Um, we've had various projects which are explained in more full detail on our table here. Um, we are doing a forage fish program with uh, BIU uh, where we're looking at uh, smelt and sea lance uh, eggs on most of our uh, productive beaches on, on this island. So we've got a volunteer for each beach, at least one volunteer. Um, we've done mapping of the uh, kelp um, and a project where we planted kelp um, sporocytes. We did that in the past. We've got mapping of the eelgrass, because uh, eelgrass is very important for our forage fish and particularly herring and uh, smaller fish. Um, we've done some work with the Dead Boat Society uh, from Victoria, where we've uh, been trying to clean up some of the marinas of the garbage that's actually in the water, like sunken ships and old docks and other junk that's in there. Um, and we're just open to new projects all the time. I just want all of the volunteers, shout out to all of the groups that are here today. We have the we have the Gabriola Museum. We also have Growls and who else am I missing? No, I think everybody else got uh, a direct introduction. So I just wanted to make sure you go around and say hi and find out how you can get involved. They're all involved in ocean protection. And that's um, Watton. Lawrence Tanash Juanita Mosh Misne to meet an actress now now is Nikwamla got Snanema eat a Stilis eat a Halalp eat a Pakwichin eat a Mukstan. Sometimes our people are from everywhere. So. <laughs> I'll start off by acknowledging my dear Sitla Shwaisolwit for opening the day in a good way setting the tone for this important work to take place. It's so important that that takes place because there are ancestors on this land and across the water and flowing throughout the wind, they're all around us. And you know, those songs open up for them to hear and they come forward and find a way to help all of us in our own way. Hawk wish to hook a mean and squall using the language uh, also was like activating that portal between the seen and the unseen realms. So I acknowledge that this land is alive and it's very sacred to our Snanamuk relatives. I thank them for watching over this land for many, many generations, but also sharing the land. So I don't know how many of us live over here, but my dear relative here said this is where they, this is their family's land. So, you know, I acknowledge that. And I really do believe what Simpatan was saying, that when we speak our language, that every, the land hears us, the ocean hears us, the trees that hear us, and our ancestors hear us. And it's just, it's, um, it's just been a really beautiful journey to be with my, and see it, yeah, uh, my friends here, to be learning our language together. Our Halkaminam language is severely endangered on the United Nations scale of endangered languages. And so we're trying, we've been together now for three years. It's been three years. I can't believe it's been three years already. And we are um, um, getting close to graduating in August with our master's degree. Because she's got like a honey, like the shape of her underside kind of looks like a honey curled. So we were asked to um, share some health and eat stories. And so I looked some things up and I was like, what do I want to share? And I came across this um, poem uh, by Gray Sutherland, poet and translator. Um, he worked with Pomachin elders. Um, but it's a beautiful poem that has been put into Halkaninam and then back into English. Um, but it talks a lot about the water and it's a homage to a hummingbird. But what I really enjoyed about this little poem is that it speaks to all the animals are breathing and how they're dancing and enjoying the beautiful nature and environment and earth. And especially it has water in it. So I thought, well, it's a water day. So <laughs> let's do the water poem. So unfortunately, I'm not as I'm not I'm 
like a baby fluent. I'm baby. I'm still a baby learner in the Halkamina language. So I still have to read. Um, but I will make some errors and I apologize, but I will keep trying. <laughs> um, so thank you. Homage to Hummingbird. Kaichka Tanatama Tanishtes was quailish spectrum. Stes was hail I aitmet was ia tanatamo. Was nis hali. Kaichka Tahail CM Kalshana Matsin. Was ni at the quat qua was stay for three autumn. Ni stay at a sman manat. Was hun pum. Ni at a quat qua. So different perspectives, right? Like what an oral surgeon looks at and sees and compares when you're looking at the teeth of the Okay, here's something else fun. Yeah. yeah what else is so um sea otter teeth? So eyes of those. God. So can you guess what they eat just by comparing? So those are sea otter. Oh, they're uh, uh, shells and uh, that's right. Uh, crunching. Uh, crunching. Yeah. Yeah. And then these are harbor seals. So. With these guys, we uh, <laughs> water levels are changing every year, so we're always making checking out to see how it is. Because last year it was super low, and then uh, this year the water levels are higher, so we're just checking it out, mapping it out. And also we use these guys for um, they're like vessels. When, you know, they sink and they end up looting, so we uh, see how big the oil spill is as well. My name is Lisa Webster. I'm a Gabriola resident and a volunteer with the Life on Gabriola Media Society. And today we're here to interview John White with the Sinemic First Nation Marine Division. Um, he's the director of that and has been an integral part of the planning for World's Ocean Day. We really wanted to interview John to give everyone an idea of what, um, what the Marine Division does and how can Gabrielans um, learn more and how maybe we can interact with your division in a good way. Awesome, thank you very much. I'd squell everyone. At the pay, Sethia Tanitsanach Nanemo. So my given name is John White. I am the Marine Division Director for Snanemo First Nation. So maybe to give you just a little bit of background on our Marine Division, it's a newly developed division. Uh, it's probably two years old. Uh, prior to that, we had a fisheries uh, office where we dealt primarily with, uh, with just fisheries and, and salmon and some in-river activity. So now Snanemo has branched out uh, into a marine division. So what that entails is we've got four different sectors within the marine division. So we've got our marine environment, uh, we've got our in-river, which uh, in-river crew, uh, we've got our emergency response section, and we've got our enforcement, enforcement uh, side of things. I work for um, I work for my own nation as the language coordinator for Sinanemo, but I also work um, consulting for the Gabriola Arts Council, and Breaking Bannock is um, our. Breaking Bannock is our a team of people that we um, we're t we're all about building bridges. So with art, I think that art is really speaks to people um, without understanding languages or dialects or miscommunicating in English. That art speaks to everybody. Um, everyone can understand art, and I believe that through the arts we can build those bridges to come together and um, and work together in this idea of this time of reconciliation. Um, so yeah, so we're here um, today to share some stories and songs in our language. And um, yeah, thank you so much, Hyde Sepka, for being here. Um, a Johnny family. I come from the Johnny family from Snanemo. What I want to share is about the little island here. The island is called Malakwe. Malakwe was a sacred area for us where we, um, prior to European contact, we would place our loved ones there once they're gone. They would be in the areas there. We encourage people not to go over there now because it was a sacred area, but until 2002, a native burial ground was considered an archaeological site. 
So people are going and taking any kind of jewelry or anything they could find were grabbing. It's really worship, but it's changed now. We've turned the page, and now this is part of reconciliation. Anytime we do the interaction with First Nations, towards non First Nations, we're interacting, we're doing reconciliation. This is what reconciliation is. Today we have Juan Moreno and Sophia here to help us learn how to say a couple words in Hokkamanum. Juan, how about you introduce yourself the way that you'd like to be introduced? Sure, sure. Hi, my name is uh, Juan Moreno. I work for Sonamo First Nation in our Marine Division. Um, my real name is Saul Seelum. I am Sophia Good from the Sonamo First Nations. I am currently a master's student, uh, specifically in linguistics, the Hokkamanum language through Simon Fraser University. And I am also a fashion designer and mus musician. Um, but I'm going to help with pronunciation today. Juan has offered to be our language model today. So Juan, <laughs> uh, here we have the first word that we're going to learn is, uh, we have sna ne mo. Sna ne mo. So here we have um, this XW at the end, which has to come from the very back. You need to spit while you do it, but then you need to round your mouth for the W sound. So you're going to go, but you do need to have that space. So it becomes sna ne mo. So that you have that like back of your very back of your throat sound with the spit and the rounded mouth to give it that sound. Okay. So shall I try it? Yes. Sna mo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Close, close, close. And the other word we have today, and you'll see on the back of all of our volunteer t-shirts, is this word. So here, this is the word for ocean, specifically ocean water. Uh, so you have quat qua, quat qua. So here we have the KW. So again, we have that, um, the ka sound, but then you have the rounded mouth with that W to pronounce that sound. And then we have um, a glottal stop, which is an anoch. Um, so it is kind of, it, although they say there isn't a sound, it is a, it is a sound, but it's like a pause sound of breath. So you want to make sure that you're putting those spaces in between each syllable to make sure you're pronouncing the, the right word. So we're going to go qua, 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 qua. And this, is, this TL is a hard one because you need to pronounce the T and the L together. And it's like that, 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 that sound. So you're coming in with qua. Yeah, so it's basically like a pause of breath here before you get into that next one, and then a pause of breath and then into that. Okay, and one last time. Quat, qua. Well, this is Growls, Grave Barrel Rescue of Wildlife Society. I've been around since 1992 on island, um, educating, rescuing, monitoring wildlife on the island, just to, um, you know, being stewards of nature as we all should be. <laughs> yeah, my, my late grandfather, Tom Jones Sr., was born. And um, I've heard stories, listened to stories of him loving this place. My English name is Geraldine Manson. This island, Gabriola, has so many traditional place names. Place names that the Soliquin tribes has placed. Place names that has so many beautiful meanings. Our beautiful ancestors gathered here for many reasons, for all the beautiful resources that this land offered. From harvesting on the land, but also harvesting within the waters that the waters had offered. Resources as the seaweed, the sea urchin, the many sea species of salmon, the shellfish, 
And on the land, the beautiful medicinal medicines, the berries. Our Soloquin people were never idle. The young children were taught and mentored how to harvest, how to preserve, how to make medicine, how to use the plant to make nets, to make tools from the trees, to make all these beautiful resources. The land was their school. The elders, the grandparents, hold in the young people to train them to be the next leaders of the world. The young people were so well nurtured. They were never idle. The songs that came into the villages, the Tiwia. Tiwia since Tiwia since Today we're going to pray. Today we're going to use these words and guide our young people to understand what this world is all about. Today we're going to walk together. Today we're going to move and understand and show our young people what this land offers, what the water offers what the animals are here, the trees and the plants, and how spirituality guides us, and what hails, how he walks the land, and how he guides us today. So that's what Breaking Bannock is kind of in a nutshell, um, is bringing people together and talking and saying, um, introducing ourselves and talking about um, issues and listening, listening to people who are knowledge keepers, who are um, speakers and experts in their fields. Um, so it's been an exciting day today um, being together here at Tleilt, which is the land that we're on right now, the former village site um, of Snenemoch, Heitzepka.